Um, oh, we got a lot of interact prompts here. Buy, vending machines offer a variety of useful items that will aid you in your adventures, such as potion and plumes of Phoenix Town. They all also sometimes offer limited quantities of certain items at special prices. Save some gill by stocking up on these resources. Save some gill. Monster Hunter World, that's what it was. Allows you to use broken down rest stops. <laughs> you put like a cushion on the chair. That's funny. Does that mean that this bench I'm about to try to interact with is going to be broken down and it's going to kind of like prompt me to use it? What? Oh, I wanted that to kind of collapse under his weight. That would have been great. I guess I should go and buy this while it's on discount. Monster Hunter World. I never played, well, no, I played World. I didn't play Rise or any of the, the recent ones Stop after World. You'd be the Avalanche, folks. <coughs> okay, I'm on your side. Heard you yeah, that one's a good one, too. Or, and you, you can even combine what we were saying. Wrong. Just following uh, up so I could Shin know what I need to do to get no the ball time. rolling. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait same, see technically. There. I never had a 3DS or anything like that, so uh, Monster Hunter World is still my first and only... Um, ooh, this is cool. Uh, Monster Hunter game. I do love it. I love that, like, idea. Like, you actually kind of see it in Helldivers a bit, right? With that whole concept of... If you see the bits of the mobs you're fighting fall off, like if you're shooting a giant bug or you're fighting a big boss in Monster Hunter World and you waylay on their like one leg or one particular appendage, you see that appendage take the wear and tear. And then ultimately, when guns games do it really well, uh, do it really well, <coughs> then that becomes its own mechanic. Like let's say the mob has a certain attack that they do with their right arm the right leg and if you mess it up they can't do that attack anymore and you visually see them favor it love that um, big fan of a streamer named King Gothalian actually the first person I think I ever followed really what got me into Twitch in 2014 watching him go for a world's first on Destiny and I, and I tell this to you all the time you know not that I get this question much anymore but if somebody would be like, you wait, you watch other people play video games, not even you play it. And, you know, first it's like, yeah, it's great background noise when I'm working and stuff like that. It's not a TV show I want to pay attention to, so I don't really know. But I can't tell you how many times that I've, like, like, I essentially don't interact with God as a streamer at all. But I have, like, a genuinely good time shooting the shit with other people in his community that are like-minded, that have similar, like, senses of humor summoning material that is a absolute beefy beginning of a sentence compound sentence nonetheless uh prompting the summon to get uh, summon gauge to appear when this gauge has completely filled you can call upon this deiform entity for assistance that is a lot that page could have literally just said summon material or summon summon Match, is that a wave from screen thing about me? Or about co-workers? Okay, cool. I didn't think so. I was just making sure. See you around. I'm, I'm obsessed with their map. I love nicely detailed maps. Well, well. This dude's fit is Give something. My favorite group of hitchhikers. You're, oh, you're my favorite fancy human. Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least Dude, he's got the Indiana Jones whip. Young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. 
Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. Okay, I'm We're not enjoying rock the fresh air. Much, Thanks, but... though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? The man crush on Bill is too real. Let's just hunker say Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. Young and in love. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Dude, he's, he's like Willie Nelson meets Indiana Jones meets uh, Jax Teller. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. Wait, I need to make Red 13 like the guy I start fights with. No one, who, who likes about anyway? But no, nah, mainly just because you couldn't really like, directly control Red 13 in the remakes. <laughs> Oh, that's sick! Oh my god, that is too fire for my throat to be able to... Pause, 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 pause. Let's not talk about my throat or anything like that. Um, yeah, I can't be screaming like that. Oh, put your phone away. So you, are you going, where are you? You heading home from work? <coughs> put it away. Get home safely and then pull me back up. While many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen in disrepair, their benches are mostly intact. If you use a cushion, whatever, by, you can sit down for a rest, which will fully replenish you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, be safe. Wait, it consumes it. I think. Look how it says. I, it does say I own six. And then it says X1. That definitely makes me think you consume that. Don't tell me what to do. I saw a funny meme yesterday. It was like me. It was like me at 14. Colon. Uh, don't tell me what to do. And then it was like me now. Colon. Can you please tell me exactly the chronological order and with painstakingly detail what to do, please and thank you? And I was like, absolutely feel that. Will occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. You're, if your character is bound and unable, quickly switch to your character. Follow my Yeah, I was like, I've I've not related to a meme in a hot movement or I haven't related more to a meme in a hot minute. Herb germ variant uh, thing in today. We worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier. Oh, what's she doing in the back? Oh, you take her to work? While on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack. As I gather, yours can't. Hey, rude. All right, how do I make him combat settings? He's my leader. We want Red 13 set as leader. Also, edit party. I love you, Aerith, and you're probably going to be my long, one of my like long-term mains, but I want to rock Aerith. Aerith. Bear it for a bit. Words. Uh, is the art germ shop take everything still going on? <clears throat> Cash locations. You may find useful supplies. Hit them among <sighs> abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in a location and mark it on your map is complete. That thing Shinra's? Looks like. If this game doesn't stop, but definitely an older mob. Making me walk. Back when they were duking it out with the Republic. Hard to imagine this was once a battlefield. The cool tank it's looking thing. to find land anywhere that hasn't been a battlefield at some point.
Um, I, I coughed. I didn't sneeze. That's funny. Question mark? Uh, I do try to mute my mic. And uh, X. Um, yeah. Now, here's the... I'm in a great spot, I feel like, experiencing this. Because I know... Obviously, the big beats I know. And remember... So, like, first of all, I obviously played in 97 or whenever it came out. I did another playthrough, I want to say, in 2011 or 12. So, it's been over 10 years since I've last played it. Um, so, long story short, there's a there's several things that I... Let's assume they do them exactly how it was in the original. And just, you know, bring it to this. That I won't remember. Or, like, I won't remember going into the sequence. But then once the sequence triggers, I'm sure I'll be like, Oh, shit, yes, this is this. Um, so I'm gonna have like a nice bit of like knowing some stuff and being able to pick, pick, uh, pick out the like foreshadowing and all that. I'm gonna have stuff that's gonna be like uh, reawakened almost. And then obviously they're gonna, there's stuff that's gonna be brand new for everybody that I'm looking forward to. Uh, well, at first, I don't wanna tell you too much because like even if you know even if you remember every single story beat from the original like there is a concept of like how they maybe present something or how they nar narratively structure it in terms of like is it a flashback is it a um is it like being told through exposition or are we actually getting to experience it as the gamer playing that moment uh firsthand so i don't want to say too much but one of the things from the original game that was mentioned a ton through exposition but we do not see it firsthand we do not live in that time period so to speak but it is mentioned a lot in the original and it's a very crucial uh, phase it's we we get to play in that moment like in th this game we are there it's pretty dope Chocobo Ranch. I think I was banned there. Which one? Which three are they? They're so good. I just... Uh, unless it's a character I really love and it's a dope variant, I find it hard to... Um, and by character, I mean... Like, character that I love. I mean, like... Overall, not in the context of if they're a good snap card or not. Um, but yeah, like, so. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've only bought. bought I'm everywhere right now. It's a cough syrup. I don't like spending 1200 gold on cards, but I have, I'll say, the Human Torch, Dr. Doom, Shuri. But that's because I, I love their their cards are good, well, not good but uh you know he's all right he just is so vulnerable that's so yeah that's my problem with it is there an art germ human torch not that i would buy it because i've already bought two 1200 human torch cards i want a chocobo Also, I probably should go to the main objective. I probably should go to the main objective up until it teaches me, air quote, uh, about fast traveling. And then that would make the me exploring more rewarding because I'd be able to get nodes. Yeah, yeah, remember I showed y'all the uh, that like meme my buddy sent me about the family guy and Lois with the pill bottle. And then magic, that's so good. Like magic's a good card. Magic's like or a good card to get a good variant for. It's like worth almost spending twelve hundred. Because you know you're gonna there's tons of decks you can use her in. She's she's a card that stays on the board. Unlike say, you know, Bucky or Kang. Uh, so I'd probably say I'm about two hours into the main story with almost five hours of game time. Oh, that transition is so dope. The little 
crows, ravens, whatever they were. <laughs> oh, the music's so good. You ain't ever lie. ADH can be like that. It's why when games have like collectibles, I always, I always love those. Yeah. Looks like an old republic. Understandable, man. That's the one problem with playing single player games a lot is uh, the spoiler yeah. aspect. Head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juno. Heard that. Sure. I appreciate you stopping yeah. by, man. Good talking you to you. These rotting hulks. Absolutely. I I'll be mean, looking for your streams as well. Could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. So now I gotta go to the we'll ranch. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> see, old Creed, even just well, like three years old, three years ago, can we rent some I would have direct you there on, on, their, on their own. Damn, Cloud's like, both of y'all staring at me like this too close? Fine. Not fair. That's racist. I'm kidding. Uh, they're both. Well, yeah. I'm, Yuffie's pretty young. I think she's like 17 in this game. Um, but yeah, they're definitely both uh, badass fighters with dark brown, with dark black hair. I wonder. Actually, that's a good thing because I did beat. I didn't beat. So there's Final Fantasy VII remake. And then there's the what's called uh, Intergrade, which is like the DLC, and that's where you play as Yuffie. And I beat both of those. I did not play Crisis Core, which one of my buddies, who's a huge Final Fantasy fan, is always like giving me heck for. He's like, "Man, I can't believe you didn't play Crisis Core yet." But with that said, I, I too, I'm kind of curious what Yuffie is doing currently. And, and how far into the game do we link up with her? Don't aggro. Thank you. I'm at Ram Ranch, baby. Staying three nights. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out.
I don't know how long my mic's been muted. I'm very sad. I was just like saying how dope that is. Look at the little preview video. Aerith makes like a little dome and Tifa bounces around like she's Quicksilver or the Flash. That is so sick. It's also so sick that it made me like get sick for a moment. Not ideal. Learn this ability to strengthen wind materia abilities. That's never bad with her. Master the jet stream ability. You'd be like, what the hell? You ain't gonna upgrade me? Always buy the discounted item in places. I love how they added an additional rest stop mechanic, but you have to have a consumable item. I fuck with that. Chocobo, come in. Did you hear my reply about the Kingdom Hearts? Can't remember. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. Could've. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Look at it. Oh. But... I can see you're in a bind. So I like how he's got like a German list kind of, or like Austrian. Course. Which is? 10 grand each. Uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so Good happens nice one save. of our birds Good. ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Ow, I just hit the shit out of my hand on my desk. There's loot up there, surely. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Scepter Six slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe! That's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, 
I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So Sweet. be sure to hand them over if you do. 